Hey guys, and welcome to another worship warm up. We're so glad that you're here with us today as we reflect back on where we were in last week's sermon and look ahead to what we'll be studying together this Sunday. Last time we were together, we looked at John chapter 7, verses 25 through 36. And in that passage, we saw that there is a divine plan in sending Jesus. The people were asking the question, could this be the Christ? And what we saw was that God had specifically sent Jesus. The people were divided over who Jesus was, but ultimately because of the work that Jesus Christ accomplished on the cross, we have a heavenly destination where we can be with him for eternity. This week, we're gonna be looking at John chapter seven, verses 37 through 39. And in these three verses, we'll see that Jesus is speaking once again about living water and eternal life. So we hope that you'll join us this week as we look at what that means for us in moving forward, how we can live out this text, and also how we can rejoice in the work that Christ has accomplished. So we pray that you'll join us again as we worship this week, and we look forward to celebrating just who Christ is and again, what he's done for us. We'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Well, church family, I'm excited about this weekend. We're gonna be singing songs that span 300 years of Christian tradition, and I hope you join us. Um, but I wanna share something with you real quick. I was listening to a preacher a couple weeks ago, and he said that he walked out in the yard at night, and he saw his son with a flashlight shining it up in the sky, and he asked his son what he was doing, and his son said, I'm trying to get a better look at the stars. And he laughed about it, and he said that when he went in the house, he got to thinking about that situation and he thought about worship and he and this is what he said that stuck out to me he said that the instrument was too small for the object and when we worship on sunday mornings when we sing together when we take communion when we baptize someone when we practice the things the bible's told us to do uh, they're very small instruments for an infinite god that we celebrate and that we love uh, so this sunday i'm excited because we're singing all, uh, all held the power of Jesus' name, for God so loved, yet not I, but through Christ in me, come thou fount of every blessing. And at the end of the service, we're going to close out uh, singing about our longing for the Lord with as the deer. Hope you can join us, and I hope you have a blessed weekend. God bless you.